Hey friends, Jen here, welcome back to my channel. So we are continuing with the Hot Mess Thursday theme, although I probably won't get it uploaded till Friday. We'll see how it goes. And I'm really excited. It's gonna be a really great video because my life is just in shambles today. So here's what happened. We had a super weird week leading up to Wednesday yesterday where the kids were just like, it was a really off day. It had been a long week and kind of a hard week. And I was like, okay, we need to have fun, 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 fun. Everyone's grumpy, everyone's having difficulties. So after dinner, I took them to Publix. I let them pick out like cupcakes. We came home, we turned on music and cleaned the house together and like had a dance party and ate way too many cupcakes. And I was like, what do you guys wanna do? And they said, we wanna decorate the Christmas tree. And I was like, oh, it's early, but okay. And they said, we wanna do multicolored lights. And I was like, oh no, my, it's like my crib tonight, but okay, we're gonna do it. Cause we're gonna have fun. And we did, it was beautiful. We had a super fun time with the kids. I'm sure it will be like a memorable year for them as far as like putting together Christmas decorations and stuff. However, at the end of the night, my one-year-old got back up after I laid her down, which never happens. And so I got her up and I rocked her and she was really fussy and I laid her down and then she started throwing up. And that was the beginning of my night with my vomiting one-year-old till I don't know about two three o'clock in the morning when she finally was able to like fall asleep and then she still like cried while she was sleeping like the whole night long poor thing just up checking on her probably every like 20 minutes like I take a little cat nap and I'd go check on her again and then my one-year-old not my one-year-old my infant was up by about five o'clock in the morning to have his like early morning feeding and it was just, it was it was rough, it was rough. Uh, it was fun, it was great, it was rough. But on top of it, my Christmas tree is so ugly. So ugly, it's just like, I like kind of very minimal and I don't like things to be like bright and busy and it's just like all of those things. So me and my husband had a lot of good laughs about how ugly the tree is last night. But you know, the kids are happy and they love it and it's gonna be a long, what, seven weeks till Christmas if I have to just live with this tree every day. So I'm gonna have to come up with something. I don't know what, but something. And the kids are like, can we play with the ornaments? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Break all those ornaments, they'll just, get thrown away and maybe that's my solution is if I let the kids play with and break all the ornaments then the tree will get more and more minimal anyway so I'm gonna insert a clip of my hot mess house it's so bad guys so bad although one thing I will say is that I did um, keep up on like laundry and stuff while kids were getting sick and it was hard last night I did keep laundry going so there's a lot of clean laundry not a lot of like yucky laundry so there is that um, I'm gonna take the kids out for a ride because they just need to get out of the house and be in the sunshine and none of them feel well so we're just gonna ride around in the van for a little while and then I'm gonna go home put babies down for naps hopefully that will go well and get it all done
So my daughter's room has this slightly higher shag carpet and I love to vacuum in here because I get those really awesome vacuum lines and I don't know, it's silly, but there's something cathartic about it, I think. And it has begun. One down, 87,000 to go.
that marks the end of this Hot Mess Thursday video. Um, I feel like I got my life kind of back together and I feel okay with everything except for this area right here. If anyone has any suggestions to how I can fix this, please let me know. You might be thinking, Jen, really, it's not that bad. But hang on, wait till you see how beautiful these red and green ornaments are with the yellow and purple multicolored lights. Oh yeah. Look at that Christmas tree. I think maybe I'm gonna put it in the kids' room. I don't know, I don't know what to do. But sometimes you just gotta let the kids have one. Now I'm gonna turn it off because you and yeah, my plan, like I said earlier, is to let children play with and break the ornaments until they slowly go away. And then I'll have that minimal Scandinavian aesthetic that I so desire. And as for the multicolored lights, better luck next year, right? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I will catch you next time. Bye.